Hello, it's your boy Sim here, and fun fact, I love Sad Boy Goth Rock. The sadder boy, the better. As long as your music has a little bite to it, you can easily make a believer out of me with just one song. I guess this sort of also explains why I still haven't given Lord of the Lost time of day. My friends who know of this proclivity of mine know that this is just one of the genres that I happen to have a soft spot for, mainly because it was one of the genres that stuck with me throughout my more formative years when I was developing a taste in music. So naturally I was all excited when a friend of mine messaged me and told me that they had come across this video by this goth rock band 616 and I decided to give it a go. Now, far as the internet will tell me, 616 is a Milwaukee, Wisconsin gothic rock band, which is basically all that I'm going to dwell on because I would rather just let their music and the music video speak for itself. Although, by the way, my friend mentioned that I had to, had to watch and do a reaction video to the music video of this song. I... I don't know. Anyway, this is 616 Dead and Beloved. Already I like this one. All right, sad boy, take it away. Dead and beloved, here we go. Okay. Nice intro. <laughs> Jesus, seriously? I just, just fucking look at it. Just look at this. Like, the old car, the garage logo visible. What's with the fuck? Is that gold? Gold framed fuckboy glasses? Like, what? Nice. Got some hooded figures and shit. How badly did you want to be Vili Velo? Well, yes, I do have a couple questions that begin with why, as in, why is the band not in this video yet? Jesus, just look at them shades, man, come on! You look like a festival goer fuckboy is what you look like, man. So you're hanging out in a junkyard. Okay. Jeez, I can't get over those shades, I'm sorry. The vocals have a hint of him in them. Two can play at that game. Your love was a funeral pyre. Is this the same one that you got those shades from? Oh, sorry, I'm a funeral parlor with that.
Oh man, you are so agonized. Even your strut is like that of a fuckboy. <laughs> yes, I fucked the camera like that. That isn't played out or anything. Jesus. Look, the song is really nice, but... Come on, closer! Well, okay, remember when I said the sadder the boy, the better? This wasn't exactly what I meant. I mean, I can see that 616 has graduated from the latter day him school of gothic rock as well as him school of music videos. Because if you'd recall, him music videos, with the exception of the second Wicked Game video, I think, do not usually have a plot or anything like that. They're usually focused more or less on Vili Velo. Hope I pronounced it right this time. And his attire is usually this. I mean, this guy's entire attire, except for the fuckboy shades that I'm, I'm gonna riff on a little bit more in about a minute. This is sort of like if he raided Velo's wardrobe from the music video for Enjoy and Sorrow. Except he managed to take the Your Pretty Face is Going to Hell jacket before anything was written on it and sort of ran with whatever accessories that he could find on set and sort of kept them for this particular moment. The song is actually pretty nice. I mean, it is nothing to write home about. It doesn't need to be. It's gothic rock. It's lovelorn, sort of profound, sad boy, emotional gothic rock. Like, what more can you ask for? With slight vocal harmonies in the hook, basic riffing, piano embellishment. This is your meat and potatoes goth rock. If you like sad boy goth rock like I do, you're gonna dig this, no questions there. What you might dig a little less, however, is the fuckboy shades and the whole mannerisms of the guy. I mean, sure, the camera is focusing on you, but when he is not being all melodramatic and sort of eye-fucking the camera, he's all trying to be cool and, you know, strutting with a swag and shit. It really creates this sort of dissonance between what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing and not in exactly a good way like it stops being attractive it stops being enticing and just sort of leaps over the edge into full-blown comedy for me the more he tries to play it up but overall I think the problem with this song and this approach is that this is kind of played out and this is kind of dated I mean, this type of sad boy goth rock is in and of itself has gotten so old that even one of the purveyors of it, La Cremas Profondere, is trying to move away from this core sound, trying to do something new with it. But it does speak to one particular niche in that if you have an itch for this type of music, this is definitely going to scratch that itch something fierce. Like this is exactly what you need if you're looking for a more modern rendition of bands like, like I said, like For My Pain or La Cremas Profondere or Old Him. Not much else to say about it besides that. I mean... Those shades, man, what the fuck were you thinking? So for now, though, for myself, I think I'm just going to walk away from this with the thought that I maybe should be wearing these shades more often in my videos. We'll see how that one plays out. Until next time, this is Eason. Peace out.
And if you like my content, please subscribe. I said now. I mean, actually, maybe I should have done it in these shades, done the whole review in these shades.